How to cook chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan is delicious and easy to make and affordable, which makes it a perfect choice for any meal. Growing up, I cooked this dish with my family, creating special memories that make it even more meaningful to me. First, you need to gather the ingredients. You will need chicken breasts, flour, eggs. I, I use three eggs, breadcrumbs, marinara sauce, mozzarella cheese. I also have Parmesan cheese. And you will need vegetable oil, garlic powder, pepper, salt, and Italian season. After you gather everything, you will need to prepare the chicken breasts. First, uh, cut off any fat that you have on the chicken. I prepare them by butterflying them to ensure even cooking. That you just slice it in half and spread it apart. Then I place the chicken in, you can use plastic wrap. Me personally, I used a plastic bag and you gently pound it to even thickness, which makes it more tender and helps it cook evenly. Next, after you've completed preparing your chicken, you will want to set up the breading station. I got three plates. One, the first plate, flour. The second plate I got was breadcrumbs. And the third plate was eggs, which I, I beat together. And I add a little bit of water to help the texture a bit so it would stick to the chicken. Chicken a little better. This organization helps the process flow smoothly and it keeps the kitchen tidy if you have everything ready. Next, breading the chicken. You will, first, you'll want to season your chicken, of course. First, you're going to go throw on some garlic powder, some salt, some pepper, and some Italian seasoning. Make sure you flip it over and season the other side too. But remember, you don't, you don't need to do too much, okay? Keep it simple. You can always add more salt, you can't take it off. After you've seasoned all your chicken, and once your breading station is ready, I dip each chicken breast in the flour, shake it off a little, flip it over, dip it on the other side, shake it off, bring it to the egg wash. Now I dip that in, pick it up, flip it over, and do the same thing with the breadcrumbs. Afterwards, after you've breaded all your chicken, I like to preheat my oven to 400 Fahrenheit. Next, you turn on the stove to a, a, a nice medium heat and throw in some vegetable oil. What I like to do to tell if it's ready is you grab a little bit of water and you splash it. And if, if, it's, if the oil is sizzling, then it's ready, okay? I cook each piece for about four to five minutes on each side. And if you flip it over and it looks a little darker, you can always turn down the heat. You can adjust anything to how you like it. Cooking is not like baking. It's a lot more personal. Next, you want to assemble the dish. Once the chicken is cooked, I place it on the baking tray and spread marinara sauce over each piece, topping it off with mozzarella cheese and parmesan, parmesan cheese. This your oven should be preheated and you should bake the chicken for about 15 minutes. Then after that, you take it out of the oven. It's ready to serve and enjoy. Finally, I let the dish cool for a few minutes before serving. I love plating it alongside pasta or salad. Sharing it with family and friends makes the experience even better. In conclusion, making chicken parmesan is not just about the final dish. It's about enjoying the process of cooking. I encourage you to try making this dish at home and embrace the love of cooking in your own way. No. Thank you.